I would love to bluff. Having jacks, having tens, have the ace of diamonds. This is not out of the book, but it's so freaking believable. To just fold out kings, it's so crazy. Ace four, I can see three bad again. Like ace deuce before, I would say ace four. I'm not not trying to be a hero. Seven, um, here I'm more on the betting small side. I rolled a 26 here, so checking on the 10. And I think my ace seven here has to be good enough for a big bet. Uh, my kicker plays, I beat ace five, ace four, ace three, ace deuce, and not ace jack. Okay, that's fine. Ace jack against Miss Oracle. This time I roll a clear call. Hmm, interesting. Pot bet. That board. It's like wrapping pocket kings and ace queen, and actually, 100 bigs. He he's just playing short stack tournaments right now. He's I like I don't believe for a second that he finds the ace five of spades and hearts he should have here. My hand is is more. It's 100 percent call, but it's indifferent here, and I'm just letting this go. Yeah, very very certain that I don't find enough bluffs with that snap pot bet. That's just trying to to get it in against like king queen. It's a very 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 low EV spot in uh, in Pio already, and this is some some tendencies that I'm just very very sure of um, that he's not exploiting me. Just like overfolding ace jack here and going for crazy crazy bluffs, just sliding up to pot size. I just don't believe it. Ten eight three. Uh, betting is fine. Checking is fine. I roll a check. Jack x queen nine got there. Seven nine got there. Uh, so it's good for me overall, but. I won't go for an over bet. I go for a reason, like normal bet size. And that king is very close. He has all the king tens. He has all the king jacks. He can have ace queen. King queen, I think it's, it's might be too close to value bet. So incredibly strong. This guy is slightly nitty. I check it. King 10, save some money. Pocket jacks um, against cold four button MP big blind. Doesn't feel great, but obviously um, I call and hope for the best. And those pocket Jacks here in theory jam, or I mean, maybe I'm more after the ace king give up, so the betting like this. I'm just playing against he only as ace queen suited and ace king off suit. That's what I'm playing against queens, kings, aces. Fold is not out of this world. Snap, snap, let go. Believe him. Skipping those EB spots. Ace queen off suit against reasonable player, four bet in those positions. It's just a call, but very low EB fold against this sizing is again. Not crazy. Uh, here I'm going to call because I have a pretty clear plan and I can't butcher it. Ace of Diamonds, I think, is a must continue. Interesting card. Definitely hoping for a check back. It's not like I have, I'm having the nuts now. Interesting. Jamming doesn't really make sense. Is this here like King Queen? No, it's. I think it's just call down mode. I would love to bluff. <laughs> I would so freaking love to bluff having jacks, having tens that he does not have, have the Ace of Diamonds. I love it. This is not out of the book, but it's so freaking believable to just fold out kings. It's so crazy. If he has ace 10, that's okay. Now this is now for fun. Like not playing for a while, this is for fun. Pocket kings, he called it. <laughs> okay, jack 10 suited against half pot, easy call. And here I think, take the big gish size. Two stabbing sizes here on the turn. Oh, we see donk here. Um, I'm just calling my ace five. Another small bet. I'm still beating jack nines, jack ten, stuff like that. A king five, so easy, easy call. I, I mean, I have an open ender as well. And I think I can actually, is this an okay hand to bluff? Like lots of flushes that he has. Like if he block bets again, or like having a five of diamonds or something like that. I think now I don't need to bluff. I have jack ten, jack nine myself, so I beat something. I've shown value. He has a five deuce. Okay, good for you, sir. Bet here, Miss Oracle, uh, wrapping a queen or a weak king. Got to randomize those hands, and he can have obviously eight, nine, jack, ten, stuff like that. We need to bluff catch correctly. We roll the fold. Won't be 100% call, so yeah. Cold call against my aces here. So we put him on nines, tens, jacks, ace, queen suited. And against this, if he has nines, he has maybe tens, jacks. Uh, he has either a spade or a no spade. His queen suited would be perfect. There is one combo left. King, queen suited, maybe. This is, has to be a recreational there with a half stack. I tried to get it done in two streets. If he has jacks and tens with his spades, this is how I should maximize value. And I'm not really interested in like the one small bet I, I might get out of him with when he has like tens without without spades. This is a small check raise here. I think for 50 big blinds, my king and ace outs are good enough. He should check raise quite some jack x. So it's better as if we were like uh, super deep, like like 100 big blinds deep. And now this is a yeah, got a fold. Um, but my outs are, are a little more clean compared to being 100 big blinds deep. Ace 10 as a call. 
he just checked jams. I mean, I don't know this guy. If he has ace jack, ace king, that's what he reps, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm gambling here. This is very top of my range. Let's gamble it in ace king. Nice hand. Um, yeah, that's a that's a note, and then it's over. It's just like fast place. Uh, like I call it like nuts right now, not later. Max protection, getting in fifty big blinds. I've uh, actually. <laughs> Played this afternoon, and I've seen pretty much the same play with his eight deuce flush draw. I mean, of a different guy, but he's an unknown. Can be anything. Ace king, I'm going to flat most of the time. Can sometimes jam. Yeah, it's flat. Play a pot, top pair, top kicker. Feels good in a three bet pot. Pocket eights, pocket sevens shouldn't be really too much in his big blind three betting range. So this is way, way better than playing as the small blind here. And he goes half pot, which is interesting. Should discount quite some queens, jacks, tens, but who knows? Like this half pot is a little surprising. Uh, I have no decision. And now I have an easy call down. No raising with my ace of hearts here either. And he goes really big big what is that i mean yeah i mean i'm calling it's like really that uh i have it uh, and i want to get it in now it's like feels so much like aces but now i mean that would be too crazy like so big so big to now have 40 percent left i don't know it's not out of my book so i can have five six i can have nine ten i can have some bluffs i mean i'm definitely value betting just thinking about like the way, same way i would think if i don't have it and yeah let's rip it in I mean, after big, big, he should be super polar and shouldn't have a decision when I'm jamming. So this is really, really wild. See, tanking now with this ace queen, with the queen of hearts playing like that. I, I don't know. He goes for the hero call. Feel free, David. Call pocket like this. Like, yes, he wants to follow tens, jacks, and queens and gets called by worse, but he's running into every king in this world. I think this cannot be a thing. Oh, Jack 10 of hearts is uh, just a call, but nurse cut off. The villain should be mainly betting big-ish on that board. If he bets small, we might think about doing something. He goes hot pot, that is solid. So uh, I'm just calling. And this is a beautiful card for my range, but still, I'm not, not donking this hand. He keeps betting small, that's interesting. It's like what he should do with over pairs, having a club. Uh, just like pricing in my all the buck pairs and stuff. Yeah, I mean, my 10 is just priced in. Two pair outs should be rather clean. King is obviously uh, one of the worst cards in the deck. Yeah, like a small bet is just good. Use my range way more trouble. Now he can split to jam and uh, check. I think he shouldn't use anything but jam now. And yeah. Ace of spades, four. Doesn't feel great. I'll check this one. I think I'll check one more time. Actually, I think this sizing is always un unbalanced, but my hand is so full of shit that this is just a fold. Glove to raise as a bluff, but I'd rather take a, have a, like a hand having a pair unblocking his ace of spades. Um, yeah, kings feel obviously very great for betting that, blind versus blind, hoping for this for the jam. Tense, here we go. That feels pretty safe. 9-3 deuce, big is fine, half pot is fine, small is not really great. I think he shouldn't have too many deuces and threes. Here we go for a three bat. King that's suited going to call. Um, wow, okay, let's, let's, let's finish good. Am I raising here ever? I think I have to actually. It's stupid, but like I hate a jack, I hate a queen, I hate an ace, I hate clubs. So too many hands I hate. Yeah, and for bluff catching, I don't need two pairs, so let's play value. Ace 10, snap call. Nice. Okay, so lucky me with the kings versus tens, and this one uh, definitely a lucky, lucky hit. Yeah, fun session. I, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. All right, guys. So uh, why not? Uh, the most interesting hand where I thought I blundered completely. I just put in NGTO Wizards. So uh, I think I had like 120 big blinds, 115. He definitely for about 226 and I made the call. So, so far, so good. It's what I talked about, like those tiny EVs, like 0.28. As soon as he's like misses some bluffs, that gets minus EV, zero EV. So I don't mind uh, not going for those against like unknowns or, or people where we don't know how aggressive they are. And then on the flop against a quarter pot bet, a very easy call with an ace of diamonds, uh, like almost making three big blinds. The turn uh, felt great. Let's first talk about my mistake. I'll talk about river um, that I have jacks and tens that I should mainly put in on the turn or just always here, sorry. Jacks and tens with the diamond, just realize equity. Slightly deeper, it's more into race than just the jam. I'm not sure we were slightly deeper, but yeah. That's that's fine. So on the turn, I actually could donk. It felt weird, such a great card and like checking and like uh, not really sure. So uh, I decided to go for the check. 
I will embed something like your quarter pot that fits and I could just stick it in with my equity and play against like king queen, ace queen, something like that. And now the fun part starts, uh, the river jack, I could have 10 nine suited. Actually, this is what we see that I should, could donk. Fast play my nines now because of the ones on the few tens and jacks I'm having. Actually, partially my ace of diamonds queen. I had the queen of hearts. I think that makes it slightly worse, but it was not a blunder. So it was fine. And actually, I think the donk gets more interesting because we have more stack left. It was more like half pot, like 60 into the 120 in the middle. Give villain some trouble. The bluff we see here is like a king nine suited. I'm definitely not defending preflop. It's tough to find those. And his reaction to it should be folding the chop and folding the kings without um, diamonds, partly, or like that one combination always. Aces sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I blocked the one with the diamond. So it makes me happy to see because I felt like it's it's a good spot. And I thought it's like, no way it is a thing, but actually it is really close. So my my uh, poker brain is still working, kind of. Yeah, makes me happy to see if you wanted to to know the results of that hand. Uh, happy, happy to share that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't want to miss out any of those uh, highlight videos of, of, of me playing some Zoom 200, Zoom 500, maybe even some high stakes if action is going. And uh, see you for the next one.